What's up everybody? Justin Peterson coming back at you with Justin Peterson's Hunting and Fishing Adventures. Back up in the 715 with the old man. So this is the probably the last baiting video I'm going to give you. There should be three up. And then the next time I catch you, we're going to be hunting. We got a week and a half. So it's getting down to crunch time and it's time to kill them. So we're getting, we're getting antsy and excited now. Finally all this work is going to pay off hopefully. So stay tuned, I'll have my GoPro on, we'll check the baits, check the cameras, I'll get you some pictures of bears, and things have been going pretty well, baits always hit, you know, I mean, I only get up here like one time during the week, on the weekends, so, but we're going to get all the gear ready and I'll catch you at the baits, so stay tuned, and I've been looking at my analytics, I've got a lot of you guys viewing and watching the videos, hit the subscribe button, it's free, just go down and hit it, so I see all these, all these views, just hit it it just helps me and then I keep these videos coming to you so stay tuned we'll catch you at the bait and then uh, we'll definitely show you some bears too at the end of this so stay tuned and keeping it real and here we go all right everyone we're approaching the first camera and like usual there's the strap there's the camera <laughs> <laughs> darn bears Well, we'll deal with yeah, let's go deal with the bait. Get out there and son of a guns. But look at the tree. Look at all the claw marks going up that thing too. Yeah, I don't see. I don't see my whip hanging anywhere. Oh no! Heck no. Imagine that. Oh, they pulled the stick out of my camera. Oh, more sky shot. Ah man, buggers. Well, folks, I'm looking at my camera. I got a stick that's supposed to aim at the bait, so <laughs> we might not have very many pictures here. Curious, curious bears. Bait's gone. Boy, look at that trail. They really got her to find now. There's a trail, folks, running right through into the swamp, and it looks like cattle coming through there. I don't see my whip. Where did you have them? I had it right here. In the... Oh, it's still hanging there. Oh, wow. That's believe a, that, that? That's amazing. <laughs> huh. Well. Interesting. So, so last week we decided to move one of my cameras. And uh, because we gave, we gave up on a bait because it, it just wasn't producing any good bears. So we moved our cam my camera over here because we wanted to see right where they're coming from. And lo and behold, uh, and another reason was because my camera got beat up on the other stand and it's part of it. Actually broken somewhat, so. But we had come and we'd baited this and then we decided to go over and get that camera and, and move it over here and we come back, we're gone like 35 minutes bear's been here yeah we actually came back and i laughed and he goes watch that bait be hit and i was like nah i said there's a chance but i doubt it i was halfway down the hill and i could see the logs turn i'm like you got to be kidding me i go down there and it was i think it was 32 minutes never after we left there's already a bear on the bait so <laughs> if, if you got a bear that really really wants his bait he'll lay nearby he knows we're here oh there and he's just waiting for us to leave i'll tell you what we're right here folks they're right there <laughs> they know we're here so well we'll get this all pieced back together and check some cameras and i'll have a bunch of nice sky shots for us i'll turn it why do they gotta do that i had no frosting on my hands or nothing but they just gotta go over there and okay A little apple that'll be gone by tomorrow. <laughs> I'm kind of looking like it's gonna luck out, folks, too, because I think the weather is gonna get cool this next week and maybe even rolling into the week that uh, bear season opens. We're anticipating lots of day movement, low 70s this week, yeah. So things could things could really ramp up and I got a feeling we might be done 
real fast. <laughs> Those bears, when it's hot, you know, they, you know, if you were walking around in a fur coat, you'd come out at night too. But uh, but still, we've had a lot of day pictures. Yeah, but the really big bears have been at night. Right, that one real big boy, yeah. But a lot of day, we've had bears at 6.30, noon, 9, 1, 2, 3, it don't even matter. They just keep coming and going. I don't know if you can see, folks. I'm not going to walk down this too far, but you look right here, it goes down. You got a big runway that goes right down and right into the swamp down over in here. We've had a lot of pictures of the bears coming right right up the pipe here. Now we're sure, too, that we're still debating what we're going to do for a setup because we got to look at this camera, and there's a lot of bears coming right down the trail where we come in, so we're not... It's debatable and up in the area what we're gonna do here. Especially when you're sitting on the ground. Yeah, yeah, and that's the thing. We're sitting on the ground in a ground blind, so it's gonna get interesting. There's my plug. All right, folks, we're going to head out and hopefully we'll show you some bear pictures. We have to do a little discussion where the blind's going to go. The great debate. So we'll catch you back at the shack and look at some look at some pictures. All right, folks, we'll get some pictures here for you. This is 9.50 a.m. when we left the last time. And at 1.23, we got a bear. He's not even at the bait yet. There's one. 138. Hold on, I'll zoom in. There he is. Oops, he's hiding right. There. <laughs> there he's leaving the bait. There he is again. Saw on some cubs. This is all the same day we were there. That's probably a pretty good pair. That pair is just not too bad. No, that one there on the, if we were sitting there, we'd have to examine that one close. Examine him with lead poisoning. Right, or a 50 grain headache. <sighs> the bear to the right. This is a bear right here. There's one right here in the very corner. Just a part of them there. Another bear on the bait. This is a bear's paw about to rip the camera down. <laughs> Darn it. But he's been to the bait because his paw is all sticky on the bottom and full of garbage. There's two bears. <laughs> this bear here looks like a nice bear. Right here, that's a big pig. Yeah, that bear right there, we've had him before. He's got no hair on his belly. That's a big boar for sure. I bet you that, that bear is easily 400 pounds. He might be. He's a big boy. He's pretty round. Bear's head, bear's yeah, back. This is, this is where they mess with my camera. Now it's facing the sky. So <laughs> he's shot. There. Uh, great view. And there's me, so, anyways, what do you think, Dan, what's the determination here? Like I said, this is probably going to be the last baiting video I run, folks, and the next video I have is going to be us in the blind on the ninth.
with the cannon ready to roll. Well, we determined by using my camera set up differently that before it got a hundred and some pictures of grass because of that bear with all the garbage on the bottom of his paw. He's such a nice bear. Um, those, we have bears coming right down where we were going to set our blind. So now we have a new plan because I, do, I really don't want their noses stuck right in the window, which they would be. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, and we're, we have to sit on the ground. But we, we figure out a spot where we can back off ways. I think we'll be all right. We got a lot of bears coming in. so The one, the one really, really big bear, which I wouldn't take anyway because I'm not looking for something like that. Um, is at night, so I don't really care about that bear, but it's fun to see them. They're around. Big boars are around. They're hard to get. No, nope. but uh, there's there's a lot of potential, and we're going to ramp it up a little bit right before crunch time here, and I'm sure we'll have all kinds of spectators. So, you know, we may not shoot the first bear, but hopefully we get some footage of you. So stay tuned, everybody. Remember, like, share, and subscribe to the videos, please. Like I said, I check my analytics. You're watching them. Just hit the button, it's free. So, but uh, next time you see this guy's face, uh, game time, huh? Yeah, and uh, my camera's been through three bear hunts now. I think I'm going to have to retire it. It's getting a little bit beat up. <laughs> it's turned it into a toy. Yeah. So, all right, folks, stay tuned. Like, share, and subscribe. Justin Peterson, and next time, we'll catch you hunting. So, see you in the blind. Bye.